The government plans to lower electricity tariffs from about 675 shillings drop to about 185 shillings at a unit with effect from June 2022. Currently, the government buys power from the generation companies at 17 US cents per unit in a process that generates higher costs for the final consumer. With the launch of the Karuma Hydroelectricity Dam project amid next year, government hopes to reduce the troubles of unstable and costly electricity in Uganda. The government plans to make electricity and liquid petroleum gas more affordable and available. We intend to safeguard the forests and trees from which we get firewood and charcoal for cooking. Two, affordable power consumption and reliability for industrialization. This has always been the government's focus and power will increasingly become cheaper, especially when Karuma Hydro, uh, Hydro Power Plant comes online in June 2022. Opalot has decried the increasing cases of vandalism of electricity pylon, yet it cost government a heft of 20,000 US dollars to construct. In, in Kakira Sugar Estate, about 10 pylons were brought down. Multiply that with $20,000 and you convert it to Uganda shillings. Can you imagine what it is? That's only monetary value. But then when you take we have got to replace them, you multiply that by two. Then when you see the time spent, you multiply it by several factors. What, what we intended to achieve this year, it will take us another two years to achieve. You imagine the time lost. The Karuma Project Dam was launched in 2019 at a cost of 1.7 billion US dollars. The project has seen two deadline extensions over delays and quality issues. The Ugandan government was meant to shoulder 15% of the project's cost, while the other 85% is funded by the Chinese Exim Bank. Meanwhile, the same ministry seeks to assure Ugandans that the rising prices are still within government's control. Currently, the cost of petrol ranges between 4,400 and 5,000 shillings per litre, while diesel costs between 4,000 to 4,300 Ugandan shillings. Our players are playing well below the reserve price of the government. We are trying to make sure, our immediate target is to ensure that there is no shortage in supply. And when the shortage is not there, it means the players are going to compete against each other. We only move in when uh, either of the players tries to go beyond the reserve price. As we speak, we are still okay. But he declined to reveal the capacity of the current reserve price. The state minister, on the other hand, says Uganda has enough oil reserve to sustain the country for about a month in case oil supply from other countries is cut off. Yves Masawi, CTV, PM Edition.